Well, when I got up this morning, of course my phone was busy and I couldn't uh, make a recording this morning because I used my phone to get my jobs for the day. But I had babies in the blue metallic mosaic guppies. And I took a few out and put them over there in my in my little mini pond because I wasn't sure there was enough cover in here and I didn't know if they were if these guppies were prone to eat their their young like some are and I wanted to make sure I had at least a few of them but uh yep there's there's one there's about three or four in here and I know I put about maybe five or six over in the little pond this morning and they're living over there underneath the the uh, peace lily where those big old platties can't eat them so they're smart little fishies because I dumped them right smack in the middle of that pond and they found their way over there where they could get some cover and the platies can't get to them in there. It's so fun. Anyway, so we got babies. That is awesome. Now these guys, these are the green lace. And in my light, they look yellow. But that female chases that poor little male unmercifully. Unmercifully. She's mean. So I'm not sure which tank they're going to go into. But it needs to be something that's highly populated. If she's going to be that mean. I don't want her tearing up everybody else's fins. I think that may why his tail's a little bit tattered. No new, no new stories on the red dragons other than they're doing well and they're parody. They seem to be doing well anyway. Where's female at? Here she is. She's got babies, but I don't think she's real close to having them. She's not, she's not big yet. But I can't wait because they are so different. Anyway, this, this blue little male, he is really colored up. These guys, they're young. They're little. It's going to be a while before they're old enough to have babies. The, the yellow ones could potentially be old enough. They're eating well. Yeah, she's, they're both pretty good size. The male's as big as the female, which is kind of unusual in guppies. But I have one huge male over there in my tank, too. He's really big. Let's see. I know, it's hard to see him through this plastic. And the sun's not real bright over here on this side of my house yet. This one gets natural sunlight. I don't have any other lights on it. So, just that quick little update because I had babies. And y'all, um, I know I did my video on my court cats the other day. And everybody said that it was a breeding behavior. Well, they killed one of them. I watched them do it. 
It wasn't a case of the fish died from something else and then I caught them chewing on it. These guys were all ate the pepper quarry wasn't wasn't in on it. But all the green quarries, I had nine of them in there, and they was every single one of them all balled up together in one ball. And just going round and round and round and round and round in circles. And then when everything calmed down I found one of my big females floating back there. So, I don't know what sparked it. Could have been the water change. Uh, it is cooling off and my water pipes are pretty close to the surface. So, you know, it could have been the cooler water that sparked it. Um, could have been that the guys got all worked up and wanted to breed and she wasn't ready yet. She could have got poked by venom by accident. I have no clue. But as soon as she died, they all went back to their normal business. So maybe she was egg bound and couldn't lay her eggs. I don't know. But there's no eggs in there. I haven't seen any. And she was doing her best to get out of there. And like I said, I thought it was breeding when, when they were doing it. And uh, so I didn't attempt to get her out. Now I wish I had of. Because it was very alarming the way they were acting. Anyway. So now I'm down one emerald quarry cat. I no longer have even... Uh, odd number in there but yeah they were they were going they were bouncing off the walls in here they were bouncing off the other fish it was crazy anyway that's all I have to say um, my, my aquarium is finally starting to clear up quite a bit it's still I don't think it's really as cloudy as it appears. I think I need to clean algae off the glass. <laughs> I know that's what's on that one because when I look in the end here, I can see it growing on the front of the glass. I can't even see through the glass from the end over here for this one because of the algae. But even though I don't like it, I think I'm going to leave it alone for a while and just let it do its thing. There is snails in there. And look, I keep telling everybody my pond snails are white. Or bladder snails. I never get any comments about it. But they are. They're just as white as they can be. And they look like little pearls running around in there. I do have dark ones too. But, uh, they get about, the, they get about, oh, I've had one bigger than a pencil eraser that's never been used. I've had one get that big in here. And I've got all these babies. Can't see them because of the algae. Anyway, I'm sure some of them are platies. They're starting to take, they're starting to be able to see. Oh, you ham. Starting to be able to see. He thinks I'm going to feed him because I just finished giving him a few flakes. Anyway, you can start see, seeing the, the different shapes in the babies. So I've got guppies and platies both in there. Anyway, that's my update. Y'all have a great day. And I'm going to go play WoW for a little bit. See you later. Bye.